Hello everyone, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at um, an event called I'm going what is it actually called first Hegemony What is Anyway, we call it Hege Hegemony or something like that It's a 5v5 event and basically what you have to do is you go in you try to capture the flag so it's basically like a capture the flag event and your objective is to keep the enemy team away and stay at the flag without dying for i think it's like three minutes something like that two three minutes till the flag reaches 100 percent, and then you win the event and we're going to have a look at some of the rewards you can claim from this event so first there's season rewards now how this works is when you compete in the event you'll get points so at the beginning when you start as a novice you'll get like 50 points a win and 10 points a loss and then as you reach higher ranks the amount you get per win decreases but the amount you lose per loss increases And um, let's say, for example, you reach silver. Now, if you reach silver rank, you will only get the silver rewards. So you won't be able to get the rewards from bronze. So anything over bronze and you're not going to get the um, bound, uh, bound silver. And obviously the best selection would be the royal gold, which gives you the most of these which is level 2 school internals and you get these this and this and they're obtained well you get them in the mail at the end of every month so if you was after blue pills the highest one you could get would be platinum 1 because after that, the blue pills are swapped out for these instead. But obviously, these are better. They're for like other stuff. They're actually harder to get than the blue pills. And, and you'll be able to get this and these as well. So the higher up, the better the rewards. The events start between 11.30am to 1pm in the morning. And then... 6 p.m. to 11.40 at night. So you can only do the event between those two times. And the event is for a month. As well as season rewards, there's rank rewards, which you can obtain by basically having the most points in the server. And you can view your rank by clicking on this. At the moment, I'm competing against a player called Bellatrix because she wants rank one and basically we're competing against each other. So the rank reward will give you bound and unbound gold if you can get rank 1 as well as 50 of these. Now these don't provide pages for every gold class in game. These only provide you bound pages. I found out that they are all actually bound that you get from here. And they'll give you dragon claw pages, tai chi fist pages, magnimity, way of the fist, Power palm, inner piece, and permanent light page. And obviously the lower you are on the rank, the less of them you get. And you'll only get uh, bound um, gold. As long as you place within the top 50, you're guaranteed to get some bound gold and some pages. Not only that, you get these stuff as well, reached rank rewards. 
Now these are obtained by, as you can imagine, reaching these rank rewards. So before the end of the month where you would normally get these, you'll be able to claim as soon as you reach the required rank, reach rank rewards. So as you can see, I'm already at royal rank, which is 1,800 points upwards. It tells you on here, royal rank. So that means because I haven't claimed my reach rank rewards this month, I can claim all of my reach rank rewards. So for reaching bronze, you get these, five of them. They're used to obtain gems and gem shards. And um, I think the stuff's called Ajita, which is used to upgrade your gems. Gems are equipped into internal skills. And you'll probably know a little bit about gems from some of my earlier videos. These are soul tokens, which will allow you to get up to double S rank compa uh, companions, which you then equip and they follow you around and they help in battle as well as boost your stats. Because each companion has an attack stat boost thing. Well, not necessar necessarily an attack, it could be anything, but the ones I tend to use boost attack. For example, this one, it's a 16 out of 18, and this is the bonus you get from it. And you increase this number so that it gives you more of a bonus on your character by maxing these equipment to 90, filling these up with gold, and then you've got to try to use these to reset these to get the best, the highest grades of these that you can and then fill them up to try to get up to 20 for double S rank companions I'm still working on the jade one at the moment but I have finished this one 2 S rank, well 2 gold and 1 purple is enough to get uh, max stats so 2 perfect, 1 excellent And if I click on this, you'll see that after filling those stats up, this one is, actually it's not 20, it's 18. This one's 18 out of 18, which is max for its um, boost. And it'll tell you when you click on it, it increases max sword blade damage by points, HP by that amount of points, um, cert hit by that amount of points, cert damage reduction by that amount of points. And the master is obviously your character, the one you play as. And this is what you get from this one. Increase master's arm blade damage reduction by that amount of points. All weapon damage by that amount of points. Cert damage by that amount of points. Cert damage reduction by that amount of points. And if I upgrade again, it'll go up to that. And I've obviously got to reset the stats until I get the best combination to be able to put this one up to 18. I think at the moment, the highest I'll be able to get is 17. So yeah, that event will obviously help towards obtaining better companions as well as providing stuff to upgrade them because these which i get five off for reaching bronze rank are what you use to upgrade the stats on your companions and also for reaching this rank you'll get 10 of these temper tickets these are used to temper gems which i was talking about slightly earlier I'll quickly show you what they are in case you're unfamiliar with it. These are gems. They're equipped into um, your internal skills. These are internal skills. I've got three equipped. Uh, Way of the Fist, Power, no, Palm Power and Sky. And these are the gems I've got equipped. So that's what's equipped to Way of the Fist. That's what's equipped to... 
um, hard power and these are what are equipped it to sky I won't go one minute one more thing and the temper tickets are used by clicking on a gem and click temper and then these are what I've got so far and you can use temper or you can temper 10 use 10 tickets at a time and choose the best stat that comes up if the best stats uh, haven't come up you can do uh, more 10 tempers or you can do like um, an infinite temper until a higher stat comes up that's better than what you're currently using I'll actually show you that in this video after I've gone through the rest of Peggy rewards so as you know it's a 5v5 event where you um, basically try to capture the flag another thing to be aware of is by doing the event and winning one battle a day you can claim this and the first time you ever use a particular class in the event and this is for one time only you'll be able to claim these so if you've used this uh, this one once in the event you'll be able to click on that class and claim those pages only 10 of them and it's for one time only for each class so when you first start doing this if you've never done it before you want to use the each class at least once so you can claim all the rewards that reminds me i can claim this one it's grayed out because i've not brought the class you can click on skills that you don't have and you can spend bound gold which is this stuff here to buy it I don't need to and I never did that what I did is when you go into the event every now and again you'll see here it's got limited well all those that are limited are limited time which are normally only available for that week and what that means is anything that's in that limited list you'll be able to use even if they're classes that you don't actually own and these classes I don't own, and on one of the weeks they were limit, uh, they were put into the limited list, which allowed me to use them, which allows me to claim the ten that I forgot to claim. So that way, because I used the class when it was added to the limited list, I'm able to claim ten pages from it without spending any unbound um, gold okay and then as well when you do when you're i'm gonna watch that rank daily rewards you'll be able to claim this once a day if you're on the rank list i bet because i noticed that after reset it'll still let me claim another load even if i don't participate in the event so as long as you're in the ranking list you should be able to claim those so top 100 so yeah now we've gone through that let's go take a look that's basically five of everything and ten temper tickets now this is ten of everything by the looks of it yeah and 20 temper tickets and that's for reaching silver rank this is 15 of everything 20 of these 40 temper tickets 30 of everything 50 of those stuff that's used for um, upgrading the skills on your companion 100 temper tickets now it's 50 of everything for platinum rank <coughs> this is for platinum one 50 of everything, 100 of those stuff used for upgrading companions, and 150 temper tickets. Diamond 2, 75 of everything, 150 of them, 200 of the temper tickets. 90 of everything, 200 of them, 250 of those. And that's going to be 120 of everything. And basically the higher the rank you reach the more of them you get so with these you get what you've already got see i just got 250 of um whatever it was it was at 250 and 
Then if I say because I'm even higher, I can get even more. I'm up to royal, which is the max one. So now I can get 150 more of everything. 500 of those um, temper tickets and 500 of the stuff used for the companion. So now that's done, I had about 200 and something temper tickets. So now I'll definitely have over 500 because the last one gave me 500 temper tickets. So let's see just how much temper tickets it's actually given me. 1,854. Not bad going up from 200 to that amount. I can now do some tempering on them to boost the stats on that. And we're going to check how much I've got in total of some of the stuff. And I might use some in this video. I remember if they're going to be in this list or another one. Might be in the items list. Yeah, items. I've got 749 cloud runes. How many soul tokens do I have? So I can see if I can get any better companions. 666 soul tokens. So I'll probably use those in a bit. And... Let me see how far I can push my companion. It'll be a waste because um, I'm going to have to reset it because I know I'm not going to be able to get it up to uh, max. So what I'll do is I'll upgrade this so that I can get this from 16 to 17. Leave it at that for this month. And then next month when I get some more of those um, stuff, I'll reset the stats on this to basically try to get one where I've got two perfect and this one at least something higher than good because it's not going to be high enough. It's going to be slow upgrading because my phone's very laggy so when, he, when I click on the screen it can't read the click straight away. Now it's at 17 and I'll leave it at that. I can either save those pills or I can use it to upgrade this one. I'm just going to wait for it to load. Let's just check what it's, this actually does. Increase masses blade damage reduction. That's handy. So Right, I'm going to upgrade this one as well. How much am I on at the moment? Come on, come on, come on, load. Right, I'm on 13 out of 6. You've got to get to 14. Yeah, 14, maybe 15. And this is the problem I get on a Samsung Galaxy S5, it's just constant lagging and because I had a phone that I've got on my phone pop up. But I'm getting an S8 soon, so 
Then I'll actually be able to play this game without getting all these constant lags and stuff. <laughs> At the moment, it slows me down drastically because um, basically the game, well, my phone can't keep up with um, what I'm doing on the game. And at the moment, I'm actually not clicking anything. It's just continuing with, while I, with the clicks I'd already did. Okay, that'll do it that for now. That went up to at least 14. Let's go take a look. Yep, 14. That's good. And there's some other stuff I need to do on this companion. Yeah, there's that. I forgot any gold. No. I'm going to wait for some gold and get that changed. And that should allow me to increase it again. So, yep, yeah, that's it for now. I'll leave this video here. Do some other... Um, actually, I, um, I'll end the video here. Up. Well, we'll leave what we're doing with the video here. But I'll continue the video and do some other stuff like... Um, using the stuff for companions so you guys can see what rewards I was able to pick up after claiming just those um, reach rank rewards. So we're going to go in here, which I've got 666 of, 666, sign of the devil. And if I'm lucky, I might be able to get a new gold companion. But now in my luck, I'll get something that I've either already got, or a load of junk. Well, I've got a, a new gold page from that that I can put on one of my companions a gold skill So anyways, that's everything about Heggy. So you can end the video here if you like, or keep watching to see what rewards I get. That's junk. Also, doing this also helps to collect this stuff, which is used to reset the stats on your companion to try to get better stats and stuff like that. So this is the best way to go about farming loads of them. Reach the uh, royal rank, claim all the rewards, go in here and use your um, tokens. I hate it when it does that. So. You use 10 and get nothing. All because my phone's too bloody slow.
Well, no S or S, S rank companions yet. S or double S. I'm mainly after double S's, but anyways. No, so this was a bad draw to do. Got me some stuff that can help me out. Quite a few of them. Quite a few of them. Some gold pages there. Other than that, that's junk. I do have some soul, not soul, um, shadow token ones. That allow you to get some more junk stuff as well as some stuff that can be handy, but I don't think you get any um, S or double S rank companions from that. So that's that done. Now let's go take a look at the gems. Well, the. Cloud here. 700 and something there. And I'll do some tempering as well. So people won't have to ask me how do you get gold on these stats because you'll see how to do it on this video. This is the stuff that's used to upgrade the gems. These are solid gems. You can tell because there's no jigsaw puzzle piece there. And these are shards. And what you do when you've got shards and they've got that jigsaw puzzle in the corner is you have to collect a certain amount of them. This one is collect five. And then when you've collected them, you can go to your um, material, your bag, and then I think it's in materials. Click on them and synthesize them into a gem. From there, you can obviously oh no, not what I want to click. Continue. From here, you can obviously get both solid gems or gem shards. And the best ones are the highest level gold shards. These ones I think are level 2 golds. That's a level 1 gold. I can tell by the shape of it. Yep, they're level 1 golds. This one's a level 2 gold. Shard, of course. Jigsaw puzzle. That's nice. That's a level 4. Yeah, it tells you here. Level 4, and it's not a shard, it's a solid piece. So I actually need that. Because some of uh, my gems on my um, on my internal skills are level three, so that's a nice little upgrade. That one's a level three. You can tell because instead of it being um, like um, a shiny blue, where you've got those lines like the white lines, it's like a dull blue. But like the level fours have got more colour to it. 
I mean, the, yeah, the level four. So this is a level three into shard. Which means you need ten of them to turn it into a gem. I don't need level three because all of my gems are a level three gold or higher. And when it comes to tempering gems, it doesn't temper the gem itself, it only tempers the slot. Which means whatever gem you put in that slot, the, te uh, the amount you put on for, temper for your tempering will take effect on that gem. So you don't have to worry about getting the highest, well the best gem you can before tempering. Because it, uh, the temper stats will apply. And what the tempering is, is it's basically a percentage boost for your gems. So if you tempered it by 5, then any gem in that slot will be increased by 5%. But I think the max you can get is 25%. Uh, That one's um, a defense shard, a level 4 shard that is. I'm sorry about the amount of time this takes. I can't speed through it because my phone's too slow. So if you click on the screen more than three times within like two seconds, it'll just go even slower. Because it can't read the clicks and process the game and run Samsung's operating system. So it's advised really to have a Samsung Galaxy, I would suggest S8 upwards, that's what I'm going for. I've heard the Pixar 2 is also a pretty good phone for running this game. This game did used to work quite well on Samsung Galaxy S5s until they upgraded the game. And basically what happened is they upgraded the game above the limits of what the um, Samsung Galaxy S5's processor can handle, basically. But as you see, you get quite a lot from doing um, reached rank rewards. So it's worth doing, even if you don't farm the event all the time or participate all the time. If you can go in there a couple of times a day and get your um, points to, I believe, it's 1,600. You'll be able to get your... Um, reach rank rewards for everything and it would definitely help you get quite a bit stronger and help you to cover all of well most of the basic stuff that most players are normally lacking in as most players are normally lacking in companions and gems and the stats on their companions or the tempering on their gems and things like that and Peggy helps to provide all that
it's also a good way to save up for um how's that done egg is also a good way to save up additional um contra i think it's called contribution pills that boost the stats you know, so that you use to increase the stats and um, obviously by doing Hecker you'll get loads of them which means when a new companion comes out and you're able to get it you can max the stats straight away you can get um, skill pages, gold skill pages which you'll be able to put on them straight away and all that type of stuff so you can get a new companion with doing this stuff you'll be getting um, the stuff for leveling the companions up so you can max its level, max its stats and all that straight off as soon as you get it which is obviously nice so that's about all we're going to do for actually i said i'll show you tempering so we're just going to do a quick temper on something see what we got that needs to go up that i want to work on there at 22 that's at 21 i'll leave the hps for now Defense 21. Threat reduction 21. It's good defense first. We're going to try to get this one higher than 21.9. So what we do, we click temper. Temper 10. And this is what I got. These are all white and green which is obviously lower than my uh, purple. The order goes, I believe, uh, white, green, blue, purple, then gold. So there you can see I can temper 10 more, or I can do super temp, or super temper. And if you do super temper, it'll go through all of your temper tickets until something pops up that's better than what you've currently got. So I'll just do that. Tells you here. Because of how laggy my game is, it's probably not loading all the stuff up and probably jumping some of the pages. I so can't wait till I get an S8. Then I won't have to deal with all this hassle. That's a 21.0, which is lower than my 21.9. Where I saw pop up. That's a 19, forget that. And while doing this, you can stop at any point if you want to. And sometimes if you're lucky, you can get gold. Yep, that's a gold. So you can get over 25 because that's 25.2. Save that. And there you go. You see the bar increase. I'm closing up to max. Next we'll go on this one. This one's at, what is it at actually? 21.3. We're going to temper that. We're going to use 10. Got over 1,000 of these left. It's not telling me the stats, but I'm not worried about that. Super temp. Confirm. I have bugs like that because the type of phone it is. This phone just doesn't read everything off the game properly. There we go. I can't see the stats. But I can see that this is better than what's currently on because it says best and it's the only purple there. So now I just click save. I see it moved up slightly. So that's good. That's 22.8. So 
So now we've got that to 22. I'm going to move on to... Checking some of the others. Right, that's a 21. So I need to do that one. I forgot about that. Let's bring this one up. Right, yeah, they're all whites and greens. So yeah, when it comes to getting your companion sorted and getting your gem sorted, go heggy. You don't even need to try to get top rank or anything like that. You just need to get up to royal gold. Once you're there, find your reach rank rewards and you get all this stuff. There we go, another best. And this will increase my stats, so if you look carefully, this bar will go up. Not by much, but it did go up. And there's my mic going up to show me it's increased. 21.9, I'm not happy with that, so we're going to go again. And that's the best way to do it as well. Don't try to focus on one particular gem all the way up. Try to get all of your gems up to the next, like, the next whole number point. That's what I tend to find is... That's some thunder and lightning. That's what I tend to find is more effective. You know what I mean? So at the moment I'm trying to bring everything up to 22%. And then if I get gold... Then I get gold, and I have got a few gold on some of them. And that's just like an added bonus. Right, let's save that because that's best. Front up a little bit. That's at 22.8. So I'm okay with that. So now I'm going to go quickly take a look here to make sure everything's at 22 upwards except for HP. Same here, yep. Same here. The HPs are like the last ones I do because they're not as important because you can have loads of HP, but what good is that if you die in one hit? So you really want to make sure you've got damage and defense and resistance and all that type of stuff to back you up. Otherwise the HP becomes nothing more than a load of junk. So now we're going to be aiming at trying to get this one up to 22. Save that, it's 21.3. Not high enough for me to move on to the next one, but it's better than it was. There we go, that's definitely better, 22.2. Now we move on to the next HP. Got quite a few goads over here, and that HP is done. Twenty-one point nine. That's high enough for me to move on. And it only needs zero point one percent to two. So let's see if there's anything that's still low. This is low. Twenty-one point six. 
these. 21.3 and 21.0. Point five. I'm going to continue and save that as well to keep that stat just in case what I get from here onwards is all junk. I have 500 temper tickets left. Hang on, that's, gone, that's at 22.5. I don't even need to do this. This is going for gold. Oh well. Since I've started, yeah, I might as well go all the way through. And nearly finished. Yep, that's nice. 27.6. I didn't even know it went up that high. Lovely. It's a good job I didn't cancel that there, otherwise, I wouldn't have got that. So yeah, I was going to go over to this one and bring this one up from 21.3 to 22. But getting that to like 27, that's, well that's safe bringing that one up from 21 to 22, do it. That's a big jump. So yeah, we'll leave that there and thank you all for watching. You now know how to get gold on there, so please don't bug me about how do you get gold stats on your tempered gems and all that stuff? Because, well, now you know. Thank you and bye-bye. And then after this video, I'm going to do a few other stuff. Use up some of the other stuff I collected. See ya.